the Central Valley is kind of a lab for worldwide agriculture. It's the most uh, egg intensive region in the US. Um, all sorts of crops are developed here. Uh, when it comes to water, farmers in Central Valley are at the frontier because of the intensity of our agriculture operations and the fact that water is very scarce. The problem is that right now vines are irrigated in a regime which uh, tends to consume too much water and droughts are going to be California's new norm. So we have to start thinking now about what's going to happen when the next uh, drought strikes. And in fact, the idea about this project came during the 2015 drought. So we thought, okay, how do we need to rethink existing uh, irrigation infrastructures? How can we use AI and robotics trying to decrease uh, water usage and then water cost? The idea is that we can use remote sensing to estimate how much water is in the field and how much water the vines are um, taking and then deploy a robot that slowly moves in the field and makes adjustments to uh, variable rate emitters so that the amount of water that is delivered to uh, every vine or every zone is matched to the current uh, conditions. So if there is overwatering, then we can adjust the emitter and reduce uh, the amount of water that is delivered. And if there is underwater, on the other hand, we can increase the amount of water. This is really something where you want to have people or robots together so that people can look at how much uh, water is in the field, can take suggestions from the AI, and then after the person has vetted and, and approved it, then the robot will go out in the field and perform those adjustments. The hope is that by developing something and testing it here, uh, if the concept is successful, then it can be uh, adopted on a larger scale uh, nationwide or ideally worldwide. If you think about the whole uh, farm to fork um, movement, uh, you can see that these kind of technologies will be used everywhere along the supply chain.